Well, hello my friends and welcome to Blue Lie. It is day six. I am currently driving to go see Jody for lunch. It's kind of still the morning time. Um, we picked an earlier time to hang out for lunch because we wanted to like spend some time chatting because there's been a lot of developments in Jody's life and I need to know about all of them clearly. So yeah, this morning was good. Uh, woke up, hung out with the Doyle dog. And I think after lunch, we're going to like this Mexican restaurant that we've been to before. Um, I think I'm gonna stop at my parents' place because I went and got groceries the other day and um, my mom likes those bags, like the grocery bags and stuff, because she makes um, mats with the plarn, P-L-A-R-N, plarn. Um, she makes those um, for the homeless in like for her church or whatever in um, Florida. So anyways, um, I always drop off my bags to her because she's always making more plarn. So <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what's happening today. Not too much going on. Oh, and I do want to um, answer a question. I keep getting the same kind of question over and over, but I don't really talk about it on the vlogs because it's just like, I don't have anything to say about it, you know? Um, so anyway, let me switch lanes here because this person's going like 20 under the speed limit. It's a little redonkulous. Anyways, um, a lot of people have been asking if I'm still looking for a job or if like YouTube is now supporting me or my Etsy shop is supporting me and all this. Okay, so here's the skinny on everything. Yes, I am still looking for a job. Um, YouTube and Etsy combined will not support me at this point. So yes, I am looking for a job. I have no news. I've been on interviews and things like that. Um, but nothing to report yet. So when there is something to talk about, I will talk about it. Um, I don't really want to talk about like interview prep and things like that. Um, just because then it's like, well, what happened to the job? You know, it's like, and sometimes it's just like not a good fit, you know? So um, I clearly want to make it, you know, it, good for me and good for them. So anyways, um, so yeah, so I, I'm still looking, I'm still interviewing, but I'll let you know when there's something definitive and I start a new job and you guys will see it in the vlogs anyway, so. Okay y'all, so I'm like, 100% dumb dumb today. I forgot to vlog anything with Jody, but I figured I would take you guys to at home. It's been a long time since I've been here, and um, I don't know. I just I just wanted to come here today. I don't need anything. I don't really want for anything, but we're gonna come here, and I'll show you guys some stuff. So apparently it's Halloween, and way down there, it's Thanksgiving. Also, there was some Christmas stuff in a couple of the aisles. But I think that's a little too much, so I ain't gonna show you that. If I was really into like seasonal pillows, this would be kinda cool, but I am not. Plus the black would show all of Doyle's furs. So I know this is like really random, but I found this ball that I think is really cool. There's all these like globe and ball, kinda like vase filler situations over here. But I don't know, I think this one's really cool. It's like a wood and it's carved. And um, it's six dollars. There's the info if you care to try to find it. But I don't know, I think that's really, that's really cool. There's also like these rope ones that are not a rope at all. I looked at these too. There's a bunch of different sizes, but they're kind of like, I don't know. They look like, like a distressed light wood. Yeah, but these are a little bit more expensive. This one's $6.99, but they're like really heavy. But I don't have anything to put balls in. And you can keep your snacky comments to yourself about balls, y'all. <laughs> Trust me, I'm thinking it too. So I think I'm going to get these. There are two different baskets here. But um, I've been thinking about in my laundry room, if you can see, there's like these little wall mounts here. Um, when you look into my laundry room, um, I have some like negative space on the side over here, like on the right hand side and the left hand side. My laundry room is basically a closet, but um, I've got some like negative space, so I could put some stuff here. So this is like a little like more shallow. Hold on, I'll show you the thing here. So the little one's a 5.99, 
And then I've got this like square one in here too that could like fit detergents and things like that. And also has the same little like hooky things on the back. And then this one's at $9.99. So I was kind of thinking like this one could kind of be the bottom one. So yeah, like this one could sit at the bottom. Like it has a label thing. I'm not really like a fan of that. And then this one could like go up there if that makes any sense at all. But I don't know. The width I think will be fine. It's just like the depth and stuff. But I'm over here kind of looking at things. I'm not really seeing anything else that I'm like super jazzed about. But you never know. And I mean, obviously I could take like any of these kind of like wiry baskets and like, you know, hang them. But I do like that it's a little bit more secure with that other one. And I don't know why, but I'm like a sucker for a good basket. But I don't, clearly don't need any baskets in my life. But I do need some of these wire ones because be good for like detergents and things but I don't know I'm gonna keep keep searching through I'll let you guys know so if I needed mugs which I do not need any more mugs I would totally buy these these are super cute just like a kind of a bone white and then it's like a taupey speckle they're really cool and they're like kind of textured a little bit and they're only $4.99 and there's four of them so if y'all come to the Blaine at home, that's where these suckers are. But they're so cute. They're like kind of farmhousey, but also kind of modern looking too. I don't know. I like them. I think they're cool. All right. So here are the final purchases. I'm getting the big square and then the smaller rectangle that I showed you before. And then um, my shower mat is getting kind of grody, so I needed a new one of these, so I figured I would get one of these as well. It's kind of like, it's like spongy. It's kind of like exfoliating on the feet. So yeah, I think I got my original one at Menards, I wanna say, but this is just, I don't know, what I've got and that's the size of it if it will actually focus here there it goes 23 by 23 and then it's 14.99 so yeah that's uh that's the purchases for today well hello i am home now there's the doyle we just went on a little walk and it is like five o'clock i was not planning on getting home this late oh i'm like i'm sweaty Oh yeah, and I've got my um, Erin Condren mid-century circles hair tie on today, so that'll probably be going in my hair a little bit later today. But um, yeah, I am currently just gonna hang out for a little bit. It is not really time for dinner just yet. Oh gosh, here's a dog. Here's a dog. Hi, buddy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, my mom called me she called me she called me when um, I was actually at lunch with Jody but then I called her back when I was done with lunch and so I'm not sure she might stop by after she's done she had like a car appointment um, down in st. Paul so who knows maybe she'll stop by maybe she won't it's okay if she doesn't but um, yeah Doyle you look Doyle you know, there's like this little spot for him and like the rest of the couch is like so much space. So much space. <sighs> what a goofball. Oh, I washed up these things yesterday. There was like three of them and uh, I put Doyle in one of them and he seemed to like it because it was like nice and warm out of the dryer. <laughs> oh, he's such a goofball. But yeah, I think I am going to just hang out with the Doyle man. Oh. Too close, Doyle. Too close. Too close. Too close, buddy. Yeah. But I think we are going to hang out and um, I might get some editing done. I have several days of the vlog to get done here and I want to get caught up because it's like stressing me out. And Jody and I were talking about that. I'm like, it's stressing me out to not have all the vlogs up. But yeah, it also kind of stressed me out to like throw them all up basically in like 72 hours. So yeah, that was crazy too. Um, 
but yeah, so that's what we're doing here. Doyle's getting a little tummy scratch because, you know, you gotta pay the Doyle toll. You right, Doities? Yeah. So anyway, I will uh, see you guys when things get more interesting. Hello, it is um, a couple of hours later since I checked in. I haven't worked on anything at all because somebody got sick. Doyle isn't feeling the best. I think he's fine now, but he threw up basically his entire food for the day and um, it took me a while to clean it up. And it's still like, it was on carpet because he only throws up on carpet, so. Thanks, Noel. Um, so it's all cleaned up for the most part, but I have it like kind of sitting at the moment. So I'm gonna see if I can get the like moisture out of the carpeting downstairs here. It was like on the rug. So I don't know, he was sitting right over here and all of a sudden he like got down and he kind of, I, I call it his seizure face. He kind of like squints really hard and his tail goes down and he just gets like really rigid. I saw that and I was like, oh, he's gonna have a seizure. So, and that's what I originally thought. He didn't have a seizure though. And so I just like went and sat by him and just pet him like I'm petting him now. And you know, just saying like, it's okay, bud, it's okay. Like whatever he had to do, if he had to poop, if he had to pee, if he had to throw up, whatever he had to do, he could just do it and that's okay. Um, yeah, but turns out he had to throw up, so. I don't know what's going on with him, but he seems a lot better now. I think right now, oh wow. <laughs> right now, um, he just seems a little sad. Like he normally gets a little sad after he throws up because he knows he's, he, he knows that he's not supposed to do that. So, you know, even though I say it's okay and I clean it up right away, he gets kind of um, like, depressed about it you know but I think we're gonna go to bed now um I didn't sleep very well last night and um I think I'm still like catching up from the sleeping issues unfortunately um so but he'll wake me up um oh, oh I got Doyle hair all over the camera um he'll wake me up in the middle of the night if he needs to go out or if there's a problem or something like that so um I'm not too worried about that but I think we're gonna go outside and get this puppy boy oh really okay um i get this little little guy walked one more time so he can go to the bathroom and then um yeah we're just gonna go to bed because you know i don't know let's just feel bad for the little guy yeah and he didn't eat anything differently than any other day so he didn't even he didn't have any human food at all today, so I don't know. Sometimes he just throws up, and there's just really no rhyme or reason. So, um, yeah. But I'll watch him, and if he's weird tomorrow, I'll take him in. But I don't think he needs to go in. He does this. Uh, I don't know. It seems like I don't know. Once every couple months, this happens, but there's really no reason for it. You know, it's just it's just the way it is sometimes. So. Yeah. So anyway, we are gonna say goodbye. Oh, by the way, um, I checked uh, the laundry room upstairs and those baskets should work just fine. I got this one of the square ones and one of the like smaller rectangle ones and it should work for what I wanna use it for. So um, I just need to like figure out where I wanna put them and then like put them up or whatever. So I think those are gonna work out really good. And I haven't put the new mat down in the um, bathroom yet, but I will do that as well. But they're all a go. So anyway, that is it for today. I thank you guys so much for hanging out. Um, tomorrow I have like a craft fair to go to, but it's not until like pretty late in the day. So I think it's a started at like four o'clock. I think it's like a street fair thing too. So it's at four o'clock. So um, I'm going with my mom and then my two aunts are going to be there as well. I don't know if we're meeting there or if we're meeting at my aunt's house. I, I don't know, I don't know what's happening. I, I clearly didn't coordinate any of this. So we're gonna do that tomorrow. So um, maybe I'll be able to show you guys some crafty things. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down below, but just let you, Doyle's fine, he's fine. If something ever happens or any updates ever happen, I will update the Instagram and the Facebook 
ASAP about any Doyle updates. But I'm gonna go for now. Hope you guys are having a great day and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye guys. Well folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah.